Dr. Nario. Dr. Nario is with Biointegrative Health Center in Reno, Nevada. You can check him out. You can check him out online. Uh, thanks for being with us, Doctor. Hi, Steve. Thank you for having me. Always a pleasure. Let's talk about one of my favorite things: NAD. Lots of ways to take it. Lots of ways to increase it in your body. But and we've done. Um, other videos on this you guys might want to go check that out in our archives so uh doctor what is nad let's start with that well steve nad is uh something that uh, has is, is contained in every living cell it's a coenzyme or what we call it or a cofactor meaning it's needed by so many different processes to happen it's like a special ingredient so that things can happen in your body and again, this is something that decreases as we age. And it's a gradual decline, as we call it. And it's in the cell inside, especially the mitochondria, because it actually is responsible for a production of ATP or energy for the body. And if we lose this, if we decrease on this, now diseases called cognitive decline, cancer, metabolic disease can now happen. Again, age-related diseases. And in the world of NED, we always hear about the different types, NMN, NR, <clears throat> and even um, the actual NAD. So I just want to give our audience a simple breakdown on this. So NAD is broken outside the cell to turn into NR, nicotin nicotinamide riboside. And then it goes into the cell and be broken again to NMN. It's a nicotinamide mononucleotide. And once it enters the mitochondria, it turns back into NAD. I know it's confusing. But I want to just put that out there for everybody to understand what these different supplements are in the market. And how do we get this? There's so many ways, oral, IV, and IV is the one of the purest and best forms to get this. And now NMN and NR are the ones running after each other on the oral uh, side of things. But now NMN actually has been declared by the FDA. I think it, they're stopping to make this now. And the only one out there that's remaining is nicotinamide riboside. So again, um, unfortunately, these good things are not being found anymore because of these changing times. Wow, I didn't know that. Yes. No more NMN, which was probably the most popular precursor for NAD. Right. Um, and they've just well, they're, said- They're trying to stop it. So I, I think slowly, come, whatever you're finding out there, there that's probably what you're going to be having left. But as you move forward, I, I'm, I think FDA is trying to just stop it. Did, can, do you know why they're trying to do this? Well, there are some cases uh, that actually, again, they said that it actually caused more harm or detriment to the patient and even was found to be non-effective. But we are looking at studies here that are, again, um, only like small sample sizes and even the integrative world is fighting for this as we speak. But as the, the last time I got an update on this, that's where M NMN is going. Unfortunately. Okay. So um, now I know you prefer the NR anyway, don't you? Either way, I, I put people on NR and, M and NMN in combination, but just because we run out of NAD like so fast in our everyday lives. That's why I even put them on IV. I combine them with oral. So I, I like the more uh, NAD in the body. Again, no ODs on NAD. I've never heard of a study that actually produced overdose for NAD. Hmm. Right. Okay. So you, my next two questions, you kind of address them a little bit uh, because I, I wanted to get a little more detail about what does NAD do in the body? And you said it goes into the mitochondria. That's just kind of common sense, the benefit of that, right? Right. So I think uh, the benefits of uh, Steve, the, the NAD, I think we touched that up on the first video. If people like to, to view that. But I'm going to bring in the new things now on studies, what NAD brings to the table. And NAD, as I mentioned a while ago, increases the ATP in the mitochondria, but also improves glycolysis or breaking down of glucose uh, and turning into energy and also fatty oxidation, meaning turning fat into energy. So thus, anybody who wants to do weight loss, anybody who's an athlete definitely would uh, benefit from this. And another one that really I'm using it now in the practice NR or nicotinamide riboside, uh, which turns into NAD, combined with dietary restriction, lowers down liver inflammation and cholesterol. And here's the wonderful thing. NR by itself or NAD 
actually can stand on its own to lower fatty liver. So meaning it can actually help fatty liver by itself. And another one that's going to be famous out there, it's always about autophagy, mitophagy. So this is the reason why we do intermittent fasting. NED, when you take it, actually is something that supports such action. So it works well with intermittent fasting. So because it's harder to kill uh, old cells for the reason that they are depleted with, uh, of NAD. So if you increase NAD, you're going to explode. They're going to be easier uh, to be like cleaned up out of the system. And one common thing for our elder, elderly, this is something now that has been actually going, getting positive results with osteoarthritis. Actually, it is actually showing cartilage rege regeneration and maintenance, lowering down swollen joints and even bony growth and especially lowering down the pain that is being experienced by osteoarthritis in, uh, in, in subjects that were studied on this. So now you all know why we've called this um, amazing benefits of NAD, um, because it's amazing. You talked a little bit about how we can increase it, and now you guys all know um, why NAD is amazing and why we titled it this. So how else can you get it other than the precursors that you mentioned? I know you do IVs there, but how else can we increase NAD in our body? Well, Steve, there's a lot of ways to do it. Let's talk about the natural ways first. Food. I think I mentioned that in the first video. And again, just uh, doing food, you won't, you won't go wrong especially raw dairy, fatty fish, nutritional yeast, fermented food, um, and even our uh, simple supplements. Even though we're not working on directly NAD, though it's a, little it's a little pricey, so we can still work on the other things like vitamin Bs, amino acids, NAC, glutathione, magnesium, potassium. These are actually uh, supplements that you can work on to increase your NAD. And sauna, we, we know that, especially if it's infrared, because, and also the heat shock therapies that, that, that are out there. But the one thing that I just mentioned a while ago when you asked me the first question is that when we do IV NAD, which is the most potent form, this always lasts longer, like five to six hours per session. And it, of course, it goes a long way. The thing here is we need to make us uh, have a maintenance. And the maintenance that I use are oral supplements of NAD, NMN, and NR. Uh, just for the reason that we don't want to have that decline. We always want to have a plateau, steady delivery of NAD into our body. That's why IV combined with oral, and as I mentioned to you, I like even combining niacin, and NMN, when it was still there, uh, and R all together. Uh, if this is a person who's, for example, an athlete, for the reason that when you just, uh, the, the supplement that I use for NAD, it increases your levels by 80% with daily supplementation. Combine that with IV, now you're not going to run out of gas whenever you need it. Well, yeah, it, it absolutely is amazing, everyone. And uh, go do some of your own research on NAD. But as always, Dr. Nario, we appreciate your input and your knowledge on this. Uh, thanks for being with us. Well, th Steve, thank you again for having me. As uh, we all know, the knowledge is power. And thank you for letting me provide you with Edge and Longevity and Health Biological Edge or the bio edge.